Welcome back to my garage. My 3D printer is working on a primary intake blanking plug slash stuffer thing. Take up the volume where the reed valve was supposed to be. This will make it much easier to try different intake geometries when we're back on the resonance intake. Another thing I kind of did wrong when I designed this. I should have treated it as the first prototype and uh, instead I kind of treated it like the, the final product. Even though it's like revision one and there will probably be, as you've seen, there needs to be lots of revisions. Anyways, last time you saw me machining the rope revolve cover. Now we're gonna machine this case half to, to fit that cover. Then machine the insides to accommodate that stuffer. And then the rope revolve and the driver. Today is Sunday and this week will be a bit amputated. There's a lunch I have to attend to. Tuesday and then there's the the national Norwegian national day on Wednesday and Thursday and Friday my kids are home and uh, There's probably some stuff planned. So we'll just work as hard as possible <laughs> That really clever idea I had of a stub sitting in the seal, sealing the bearing. Well, that was a great idea if I had remembered to make it short enough. Because uh, my tool crashed into it and uh, I've chipped all the flutes. Yet another brand new end mill destroyed by stupid operator error. Hooray! <laughs> We can just clean the bearing race before uh, assembly. Here's the combined stuffer and placeholder for the reed valve. It's supposed to sit here. We'll need to make some uh, clearance. So that's the next operation. modifications done and the stuffer and the rotary valve housing. We need to drill out the marked holes and uh, do some tapping. We're pretty much done. You already know I'm a huge fan of NordVPN's VPN service and I'm also really thankful they've been my partner for so long, helping my channel out, helping me do this. In short, NordVPN creates an encrypted tunnel for your data to travel in so you can browse the internet safely without people spying on you and stealing your stuff like credit card information and stuff like that. There's a huge bonus besides that though and that's the reason I'm using NordVPN services. And that's how NordVPN lets you pretend to be from wherever you want. So I'm in Norway, I can easily appear to be from Montreal if I want to, just with a click of a button. This comes in real handy for ordering cheaper plane tickets, playing games not available in your country or available at home but not where you're traveling to, watching movies, series not available where you're currently at, stuff like that, really convenient. Today I want to talk about the NordVPN proxy browser extension which makes this even easier and more lightweight. You can find the NordVPN proxy browser extension in the Chrome Web Store, the Microsoft Store or the Firefox add-ons page. With the proxy browser extension installed, you can easily choose which country you want to be from within your web browser. It's faster and lightweight, takes less resources than using the app. You can choose to have it turn on every time you open the browser and it's customizable. You can choose which websites see your real IP address and which see your uh, VPN address. Threat protection light is included, blocking ads and dangerous links, which is really convenient. The NordVPN proxy browser extension lets you take advantage of all the features of NordVPN on whichever computer you 
work from. You can just download the extension and then you're protected. And you can take advantage of being from wherever you want and get cheap plane tickets and uh, watch the shows you can't really, really watch and uh, all that stuff, all that great stuff. Head to nordvpn.com slash stuffing for a great deal. It's risk free with a 30 day money back guarantee. Thank you NordVPN. Now onto the roll free valve, which will be 1mm carbon fiber. I know from experience we can't drive the 1mm carbon fiber directly. It'll just chip out in the drive points. So we'll need to sandwich it between some uh, plates, 4mm plates to be specific. That's the plan. Like a driver thing. <laughs> I'll need to pick up some countersunk head bolts tomorrow that'll fit to go clear off the rotary valve. This is going to be the combined driver for the rotary valve and the ignition trigger wheel. I need to cut a taper in it to fit the shaft. This is a cutoff from a crankshaft with the same taper. We're gonna dial that in and then uh, start cutting the taper in this. I'm not sure how much you can see of that, but it's uh, pretty much spot on now.
That's unfortunately all we have time for this week. We're missing uh, drilling some holes and uh, getting some seals and uh, a new belt. And we're ready. My expectations are higher than ever this time. See you next time.